at project three so you know you're doing everything correctly. So in problem one, we're gonna fake roll the dice um, using technology. So we're gonna create a first column, one through six. So I did that here. So I made a column right here. I just type one through six, it's a dice. And then you're gonna go ahead, um, you can do B and C on your own. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend to roll a dice using technology. So you're gonna go to data sample, 500 for 500 rolls. And then we're gonna sample with replacement. And what that means here is just that you can roll the same number more than once, right? So it's okay to roll a one more than once. So I did that step and I got this column. So I rolled a five and then a one and then a six, right? And then I rolled a five again. And so these are my 500 rolls. Because if we did this by hand, it would take too long. So we're having StatCrunch pretend to roll for us. So we'll all get a slightly different graph and slightly different rolls. Um, you'll repeat this for 1,000 and 5,000, and then you can go through the steps. Um, in example two and three, we're going to um, practice that normality test from 6.5, because that'll be really important in our later sections. So example two um, uses data that I have for you, so you'll see that here. It's just temperatures in June of 2016. Um, and then you can go through the steps for normality test. And then in part three, we are going to make a new column um, with a binomial sample. So X will be number of tails out of 500 flips for a coin. So imagine we're flipping a coin and counting how many times we get tails. Um, 500 flips would take forever by hand, so we'll simulate it. And so this is the process for simulating. And again, everyone's will be slightly different, right? If we all flipped 500 coins, we'd get a different number of tails. So it's okay that it's different. So let me know if you have questions. I hope this gets you started.